What's up everyone, I'm Carl Johnson and in this video I'm going to show you how to make an image look like it's lifted off the page by using the box shadow. Okay, so we've got our image over here on the right and the first thing we're going to do is use the Squarespace block identifier plugin for Chrome. <laughs> I'll leave a link below in the description. Then I'm going to get the block ID for this image, so I'll just click on that automatically copies it to the clipboard so i'm just going to shut that down because we don't need to use that anymore and now i'm going to go to design and then custom css and then i'm just going to paste the block id that we've just copied and then i'm going to go with the left squiggly bracket as usual make a bit of space and then i'm going to put box dash shadow colon and then I'll put 10px space 10px space <laughs> and then 20px and then you'll see that we've got a shadow now behind this image so we can adjust the color of this maybe make it a little bit lighter subtlety is the key let's go with a lightish gray so we'll go like a0 a0 a zero you see that that's lighting the shadow now behind the image so the next thing we can do and this is just purely out of preference we can remove this border around the image well it's not actually a border it's the pattern within the block that the image is contained in so i'll just put a semicolon come down the line and go padding colon zero px and then you see that we've got a borderless image that see, that appears like it's lifted from the page. So it's just a nice little something extra to add to a design of a page. Let's just go back over to the CSS a second and we can adjust the length by adjusting this pattern here. So we can see, make it a little bit wider, 50px. 50px, it just makes it look like it's lifted out of the page a bit more. But as I say, subtlety is usually the key with these things, just little tiny things that make a big difference to the page so i'm just going to leave that at 10px and then save and go back so hope you found this video useful if you did please leave a like below and if you'd like to see more squarespace tutorials please do subscribe and hopefully i'll see you in the next video bye